Welcome back to Factorio Megabase in a Book. My name is Nidaus. In case you didn't know that, in case this is your first episode, why would this be the first? Anyway, if some, there will always be, for every video, there will always be someone who watches my content for the first time. So welcome new viewers and old viewers and uh, veteran viewers is probably better than old viewers. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. We have a lot of things to do today and uh, it's... Uh, it's going to be a bit uh, different because what we've been doing right now is uh, the last couple of episodes is upgrading the red, green and blue signs. I got the colors right. Awesome. And I should just mention that I want to thank the patrons for supporting because without the patrons supporting this, it would not be possible for me to continue to uh, do all these videos that I do for Factorio and all the other games. So thank you very much, patrons. In the start of every episode, you can see a uh, heads up on who is the sponsor of this episode in there's always a patron sponsor so what we want to do is well one of the things that i'm sure that you noticed is that once you build this or why i we built this we build it i didn't build it we built it then it fills up and it consumes a lot of material and then it idles and it doesn't move at all until i built red green blue purple yellow and space signs and only then will it start working but that, that's kind of sad. So what I really want to do today is do a lot of overhaul back into my base. I want to convert this city block into a science city block. And that means because I don't need this one anymore, the red and green. I don't need this one either. So what I could do is I could take the military and shovel it up here. I could take the solar panels that I'm only using. I'm not storing it at all here. I could use the solar panels and put up here. That would allow me to get resource get science in somewhere else and uh, where i would like to get it in is and then i'd like to get it in onto this block here which is going to be a bit difficult but i think we might be able to do it but in order for me to get it into this block i'm going to have to move some things you know what i was actually thinking about sort of consolidating some of these but when i look at it there is no way that i'm going to need this i d i don't need it right i there's no need for me to have the artillery train anymore I think the artillery train has outlived its time and it is just time to be uh, retired. What I should also be doing is, as always, remember, we got to build this one out here. And then we go the next one around here. There. Okay, this is getting easier. Then we go on the other side and do build these so that they are ready. This one is slowly getting in there so we can get next ones in. Looking good. Right, where do we have the this one? Ugh, that's going to be horrible, isn't it? Well, I think the easiest way is to do this. Because now they'll just go away. And... Yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. We have way too much of everything. Who decided I should have so much junk in my inventory? I don't know. Well, why do I have that one? Or that one? 300, good. This definitely should be a big fat zero. So I can just do this one and then I'll only take up 14, but they'll go into... And, or I could do that one. That's another way of doing it. There we go, that will clean up that part. So this will be our science unloader. And this means I have to do this in a different way. I think we... I have an idea. So we'll we'll give some, some tests. Well, testing on this. This is good. This is good. Uh, maybe we'll actually keep this one around. I want to keep this around, but without the signals. There, because then I can flip it. All right, so my trains will come in here. And then the question is, can they... Hmm. Can they actually go ahead? So I'm going to get six sciences inbound. The question, can they go out on that one? Yes, they can. This will not be a very efficient setup, just so that we are all clear about this. But it will require like one train every blue moon or something. It's very rare that we're going to be setting anything up here. Take this out. 
Ah, uh, maybe that was not great. I want to see where it is compared to the turn there. And we should have definitely another name for this. This will be... Signs inbound. What signs? Let's do blue. And the question is, can I build it here? And there. That seems a bit over ambitious. That one. And that one. That seems way more likely. And then I'm going to have to bring it in on the closer side. Yep. Okay, so this train stations are going to be a bit squeezed here. This is kind of a temporary thing, but it's also a temporary thing that's going to last a bit of time. So I, I think it's still worth it to do this. Because it will be working for quite some time. It'll not be the permanent science base, but it'll be, it'll be... It'll be something. Maybe it actually will be. I don't know. I don't know how far it's going to reach. Right, so these are going to be... You will be red. And you will be green. I was about to do a three for me. Three and green are the same thing. I don't know. Do you have colors and numbers that are the same for me? Three and green, that's the same thing. I don't know why. And then I can do it on this side as well. That means this will be the next one in line. Purple. I am not intending to take take uh, space uh sorry military science i intend to continue to make it at this base and that's yellow and the last one will be space science or white science whatever that's an autosave thank you it's one of those games where autosave just doesn't really uh, matter very much not like you're seeing crashes left and right and if you do, stop using mods that break the game. There. Alright, so that is going to be it for the basing bases here, right? So, what I need to do is figure out the inputs and outputs. That one, that one. Oops. Oh, signals are no longer on my hotbar anymore. Actually, that's much better to have it over here in this case. Because you want to get sure, make sure that they clear. And there's only going to be one train for each. All right. That one. And that one. So the idea here will be, we are not going to need to unload it particularly fast. But what I want to do is make sure that I unload it somewhat evenly. Uh, but they will all be only on one side. That should be... That's interesting. Yeah. Like, the logical thing would be like, okay, if we want more lines out, but I'll only ever get this on one side at all. So I'm going to have four lanes outbound, and they will all just merge together to put things on a single belt. But how do I make sure that they still unload from the train evenly? Hmm. Put it into a balancer. There we go. That's the simple thing. And unusually, I want to do that. Because then I can do it here. Okay, so these two, if I do this part, that should be fine. Yeah? And I can do one more of those over on here. Now, if I did something like this, that would, if the pull from the side would be even, then it would be fine. But it's not. Also, have to remember one, two, three. This is about as much space as we have. So it actually has to go in here and go back up. Okay. 
Okay, science is at least continuing as long as I do this silliness here. There we go. That one. And now these two could be very easily merged into that one. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking whether this is... Is it even? No, it's not going to be even because this is not an even split here. So that means the trains will unload very unevenly. And it will also unload into... Not unload into boxes, but it will still be here. Does it matter? Let's think about it. Yeah, it does matter a lot. Because if it doesn't unload into boxes, that means as soon as it goes in here, uh, as soon as the chain is empty, it leaves. But as it leaves, there's no tr new train to pick it up. So that's not an option. Then it will be always, always running a bit out. I mean, this, this is a pretty cool idea. Not particularly functional, though. That is right-hand side in the direction of travel. So it's actually going to have to be like this to merge correctly. And that's one belt. And this is going to be the other belt. I think I like this better it's putting into boxes but it does have the another little disadvantage here yeah i can do this yeah that's out now then let's figure out how do we most efficiently merge this into a single line. Maybe we, the answer is we don't do that right now. We simply bring it all in and then let the base deal with it. Hmm. Uh, we are going to have to get Alternatively, the answer is, do I care? I think I do care. And a bit, at least. Let's, let's try this. And that's the next problem. Unless I just, from here, go over to the other side and just basically get it into that one. And then do the same for the next ones. They will actually probably be going down south though. But that's there's not going to be room here for, because I will need to get a uh, circuit control here. Some kind of circuit control. That circuit control needs to be super simple, right? This one. What is the content of the boxes? And that can be... This can be 9,000. 9,000 plus 9,000. And each train here is containing 32,000. Yeah, 32,000. So you can't have... 22,000, so you can unload all of it. It's going to take a bit of time. Actually, isn't it better to do this? I'm thinking about it because that, if I do this, they will be alternating from one side and the other side, but they'll stay on one side of the belt. Ah, and... There we go. That's not bad. I think that's better. Because they'll still un stay on one side. Yep. They'll alternate. These ones will not be here. For example, the first one will always empty first. And then that's this one. This one always first. And then that one. That's still something we can't really deal with in an easy way. 
The only way would be like this one. That one. If I did this. On the outside, but now they're on each side. That's not good. The rule is that they have, they are always going on the right hand side in the direction of travel. So this one, yeah, if you put it directly on a belt. So this one goes on the right hand side. This one goes on the outside. So they are on the same side. Test. There. Yep. Works. And now I have to pick up a lot of junk. Good, and it's also, oh, no, still, still there. And this one, and that one, we'll still have. So this is still an option, but if I do that, then I am going to have, like, multiple issues here. Here. I mean, this, if... It is a bit more complicated, but on the other hand, it guarantees that everything is merged together, except this one is actually... This is interesting, because that works, but it looks bad. It looks uh, accidental. There. That's a bit more advanced. There and wow, that is so tight. I think this is now even the unloading from all belts or all of these. There's, of course, going to be slightly uneven by the fact that these have a bit longer travel time. Good. Okay, so that's one, two, and uh, I'll get this one out as well. Yeah. The next question is then going to be over on the other side. How that's going to pan out as well. It will be... at... It's actually interesting. Wouldn't it be better to have it on the inside? Like this. I think. You could also bring, still bring it down. Yeah, I, I don't want to bring it down. Okay, so how would I do this? This... Oh, I lost my signals. That's the signal. Copy. I have the signal. So what is it? Uh, what's the logic I want to do? This one is, it's only ever going to be one. So it's either a zero or one. Basically, I'll just have a condition that says, if this thing is less than, hmm, um, less than, We'll, we'll do the calculations here in game here. I have four boxes that can contain 9,600. <clears throat> no. 9,600. <clears throat> the chain is bringing in 32,000. 6,400. So when it's less than. When. Whatever. Anything is less than 6,400. Send a signal of L. And the L goes from here to here. Where set train limit is set to L. And that one. There. It has to be everything because if it's anything, then a zero will return false. False if there are no inputs. True if there are inputs. That was 
honestly remarkably easy because I don't need any. I don't need to tell how big the the trains are. I don't need to tell anything about um, the maximum value because it's only ever going to be zero or one. That was that was easy. Interesting. Let's build it on this side as well, and then we'll be ready to hook it up. There, that is now hooked up. I think we'll get them that one and maybe just one off here. I think it'll be safer if for everything if I leave it Oops, like this. Symmetry. Oops. And. Oh, right. Yep, so much for symmetry. That one. You go in there as a single side, and this one. Ah, uh, it's gonna get into trouble with. Let's make sure that there's room for it. I like uh, I like this little this little design session where we built uh, these train stations. It's, I think it's going to look good. I, or I think it's going to work well. But it looks good. It's mainly in Factorio. The aesthetic side of things is extremely heavily linked to whether it works. Because things that work look great. Things that don't work look bad. Uh, yeah, that's not great. That's not great. That can only be from that one. And then it can't. Oh, it can't go there. Sweet. Yeah, but not the right place. Not the right place. Is that an option? I don't think that's an option. No, it's not an option. It's definitely not an option because that's now bringing it in on the wrong belts. Yeah, but is it though? It could be an option. Ah, oh, I, I hate this. Why? Why are you forcing me to just do something like this? There you go. Okay, so this will now be... Hold on. If I brought this in here, and then brought it in here, then that would be fine. Yeah. What's the problem then? Plenty of space for this to be built. That one. And that one. Oops. Alright, that uh, was me just making things way more complicated for absolutely no reason as I uh, am want to do. That goes in, merges in, that's the blue, the purple thing that go in here and I'll get these sort of slightly off from each other because it'll be much easier to work with later on. That one. And we're back up to Yeah, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because There. Yeah. Okay. Everything is working, I think. We are missing just a few input 
there. And then I will see this. Do I like this? What is it? One, two, three, four. Ugh, I don't like that. I think I need this to be... Don't let it drive out until it clears that one. I think. Here. This one just has to clear one of those. So, no. I'll put this here. But as soon as it clears this one, it can kind of go on. There. And I should have enough room before we start this awful merge. This one, by the way, is not going to be a good one. Uh, but it, I'm going to accept it because it is so low uh, throughput. Because this, this one will be blinking all the time. Because I can't intersect this. If I did this. Uh, I'm just going to show you that it can't be done correctly. And then it probably works because I can't do trains there. That one and that one. The blinky blinky. This one's blinking because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the funny thing about this one is not blinking. See, the problem is that all of this is one segment. Oh, uh, let's do... Funny how it's actually this one. We'll do that. Okay, now it's it's working, but as you can see, if you have a train coming up, it's blocking this. This is, this is super forbidden to do. Don't ever do this. I'm going to do it anyway. Why? Because the amount of trains coming up here is one every five hours. I think I'll manage that. I can accept that if it blocks for two seconds every once every five hours. I think I'll survive with that. Oh no, we forgot to add all of our junk out here. There. And on the side as well. That one. And let's see, we are definitely missing some power poles out here. Oh, not some power poles, but some... Hmm. That's interesting. That one. That was missing. And the next... All of that. That can be done. This is getting done. This is good. This is good. <clears throat> okay, we have all of our trains now coming into this location. That was uh, that was the, supposed to be the easy part. What I'm going to do now is hook up the trains first. Yeah, let's hook up the trains. So we should have like a red train here. This one will go to... Hmm. I know we have a red one. There we go. Oops, not that was a red one. Until empty. Go. Looks good. Should we test one before we send all of them in? Yeah, we should. Are we going to? No. And the blue is here. And it's also good. Alright, we should be seeing these trains come in here and be unloaded. Then we'll check if it actually works. And if it does work, then we have to replace. The first thing we'll have to do is, is basically replace this line here. Uh, what we definitely can do is kill all the inputs. Yay, killing inputs. Love it. Kill the inputs. Is it coming in? All right, let's see if it unloads. Let's see if it... It looks good. It goes out on one side. Everything is focused on the right hand side. And the green train comes. The blue train. What, why is the green train so much later? Oh, okay. It's coming in. It's all good. I think this is a really good suggestion or a really good idea. And this will give us half a belt. So that's going to be 1350 maximum signs per second. A minute, sorry. Uh, that's, that's also pretty good. Then let's. Also kill inputs for this, as I need to move it. And also kill input here, because that also needs to be moved. 
No, it, this doesn't need to be moved. This just needs to be uh, deconstructed. So this is not important to do it nicely, but this one I'd like to do it nicely. Uh, there. Cut. Yeah, that's that's a pretty ambitious thing we just cut out. And it will go up to... Uh, let's see, here? Let's just put it in the middle. I'm not going to be fitting a third thing in here. No, I don't think so. And that will be some green circuits. Okay, so we need to do some built building in here. And this one is not retired yet, but once it's retired, then it's good. The military science also has to be moved, right? Yeah, the military science has to be moved into the where the blue is right now. So also that has to be taken out. And unfortunately, that's going to be a much bigger issue in terms of just spacing. That one is going away. Maybe I shouldn't have issued like a million build commands for solar panels right before I issued a million build commands in the base. But you know what? This is uh, this is one of those classical things where that is my problem, not your problem, because I can just cut it out. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we'll just cut it out until we have a clear field to work with. All right, David, of cleanup has been done and we are ready to uh, to get started on the next part. The next part, now that we have cleared this entire thing out, the first thing we want to do is, well, hook up uh, the new builds. This is where I put the military science. I hope I hooked up all of these belts correctly. There was a lot of belt, of belt cleanup on the bus, but yeah, boring. We'll do that. I'll take care of that. And then I absolutely want to have this one. here and you will be requesting like a million of those because i already have so much so many of them there we have i have no idea how much i put in my inventory here we have too many nope not not anymore now it's come all coming in here yeah three thousand inbound still okay good so that'll top up this belt if need be and uh, we'll all get all these other belts in at some other way uh, let's see. I think I want to move it to the other side. So let's uh, let's do that because that will be easier to get my red, my blue belt from the bus inbound here. Oops, that's a lot of a lot of purple I pick up there. And you know what? This one has to go. It's not running anyway. So let's get rid of all of this. And you can get rid of this one as well. And this one. And then we can uh, build a proper one for now. Let me get the hell away from this, because I don't want to be the one picking all of this up. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go here. And uh, where are we? We are here. All right. I'm just going to run all the way up here and hook up the other thing that needed to go there. And that should continue our production of the solar panels. The solar panels are, in this case, going on the bus, going up here, and then going back in. Kind of silly, but we uh, we're going to do it. That, <clears throat> these two are going to be here. Uh, that one is coming in and everything here will need to be go out. I am going to make sure that I take a few of these so I can actually build them. And let's do the design that we want because I think that it's, it's important we do. That one. Here, that's a given. Then what I want to do is I want to make sure that we can... This is the general build and then you can make adjustments to it there if i then take so the idea here is you can get easily inbound and move on from here inbound and move on same the other side hmm And oops. I'm not sure that's correct. Let's see. And this is not super necessary to use these, but I think it's sometimes I <laughs> No, it's not it's not important. It's really not important in this case. So we'll uh 
Oh, we're at oh. There. We'll always set them on the first tile. There. Good. And is it tileable? It is. The one thing though is you could make could you or could you make this smaller? Yeah, you could, but it's not really needed at this point. Definitely want some. I, I really don't feel this is needed to be smaller. But it could be, for sure. Now, how fast is it? Because that's the next bit. Next bit. That we'll just check. This one is perfect speed. It is at... This is the easiest part. If it says 23.45, that means it consumes 23.45 per minute. And if I want to... All right, that's the easiest way of doing this. Well, I don't know. What if I have 50? Let's do the per second, then we get to 22, and then we have 60. No, that's too many. Um, 58. That's good. 57. That's not enough. 58. Okay, so can I find like a logical thing with 58 in a somewhat logical grid pattern? Is there even room for it in this part? I don't know. Um, I think I need to do it out here where there's no disturbance in the force. And then just have a look at it. And then see if how compact it would have to be. There. That's definitely... All that can be done in one lane, which means I don't have to go all the way up. So I could do this one, two, three, four, copy. Good. So how big is this? This is 64. Yep, 64. And that takes pretty close to a full city block, right? Yeah, it's... And if I take that out there is 56 we don't need this by the way we don't need it to be this compact but I do like it we'll do it this way you know what hold on let's let's uh, think about it I don't need this to be particularly compact but I need to make sure that I get it in from the top and in from the side. So I'm actually going to use this pattern here. There. Take all that out. Take this one. Would it be possible to have them only with... No. No, no, no. There. glorious and then once it's kind of all of it done then I Ooh, hold on this one is not connected to that oh we definitely need to make it uh, more compact okay I'm gonna I'm gonna accept this for now but I am fully fully aware that this is not a good design and when we get to actually building the science blocks, this is not going to be it. Why is there a medium power pole in the way? That one. There. And then I'd have the power pole comb that I'm just going to do that. There. Now, obviously nothing is going to work because I just killed all of all the robot ports to this. So I'm not going to get any supplies and no one else gets supplies. Is that a good position? No, it's not. Move it. And now I return after this has been done. The moving things around again would not be uh, super uh, interesting. So I just did that for myself. Right, so the two things we want to do now is uh, get these inbound and then realize that this is kind of in the way, but that's okay. We can always move that. 
So I'm going to have two things coming from the north. That's okay for the time being, right? Uh, it will eventually be less, but at this point... And maybe the answer is actually that it's what goes on the outside belt. Maybe it is. Uh, hold on. Isn't it? Yeah, I'll I'll do that. The only problem here is the the replacement. So these two are coming from the north. They will go on that side and. See, that one will go to this location and inbound. Yep. And forward. I'll have another one on the other side, which will go to there. Obviously not there. From that one. Yeah. I think it's nicer to jump it like this. So now I can take this as a unit. And it goes there and there and there and go away. Except of course the last one will be slightly different. As it doesn't involve the other things. There. And Got it. <clears throat> and my point of this is this will be the red and green and then the other one will be the blue is coming in here. We don't care about the other ones because they don't exist. Yet, once they do we will of course add them. There. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Can I flip it? There. Yes, I can. <laughs> flip. And flip. And flip. And then the last one. That goes into the first, and that goes into the second, and then we have all seven operational again. Is that it? We have, what, some laser turrets? Oh, right. Where you go? Where's that? Um, oh, are you, are you running out of stuff? I've, I rem completely forgot you. And this one also had a bit of uh, work to do here. We clean up all that mess and then go back again because I'm not going to do that right now and I will just finish up with finding these here ah man that I should I've forgotten that right so now we have definitely more science than we can consume or more production science production than we can consume for sure and uh, that's that's kind of also what I wanted, right? I I really wanted this to be able to consume more so that if someone, for example, forgets it or anything like that, or when we start transitioning out here, then we can have more science being produced by the residual ones. I think this is good. This is good. We have now converted everything into a new science block. How much is this going to do? Very simple to see. How much science per second uh, or per minute? So this means it could could make 1000 per science uh, one science 1000 science per minute if i did not have if i could produce it but obviously this is not going to produce 1000 and this is not going to produce and uh, neither is this so only when it idles or as i start transitioning one thing that is definitely missing on this uh, design here oh it's actually interesting how 
I decided that these should be really close instead of out there as they really always should be. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, therefore. Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll be happy about this. We'll put the lights somewhere else this time around. It's all good. It's not at all good. There. Lights. 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 Can't have stations without lights. Again. I just don't like it. Good. Much nicer. And of course, then the next objectives will be to hook up all the other ones and make sure they also are happy and working. That'll be definitely uh, the, a challenge for our next couple of episodes. We definitely had some some challenges with this setup, but I think it uh, ultimately we got some really nice clean setups here and they are working. I'm really happy with it. If you liked it, then uh, hit the like button maybe, or uh, if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel for more content as we continue to scale up this uh, mega base. This is technically not needed right now, but it's uh, it's it's going to make sure that we consume from the outside base instead of from the bus base. That means less production here, just gradually scaling this one down so it does less and less work all the time. The only thing it'll really do is just continue with the hub and uh, the, the sciences that are open. Uh, yeah, okay, laser turrets as well, and rover ports. So maybe at some point we'll just overhaul the whole thing and make it into a dedicated, just, uh, yeah, mega base hub. I can at the very end. Oh, I cannot, but uh, I want to. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care, and as always, stay effective.